welcome and welcome cross watchers I hope you're all having a great day so far we're basically going to be taking a look at what is going on for you what's manifesting for you at this moment what's happening in your current situation with you and the person that's on your mind if any so whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it and as always take what resonates and leave out the rest if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself i'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all okay so I'm seeing that in the past here we have the five of pentacles which is telling me that um, you felt like something was abandoned, uh, left out in the cold, given the silent treatment. Um, there's some sort of struggle, maybe you've been even struggling financially in the past here. Um, trying to make ends meet and you felt like no one was really helping you there was no help to be seen somebody wasn't around to kind of be there for you um i'm seeing that we do have a chaser here so pursuing somebody's been chasing in the past you could have been this chaser uh in a codependent relationship due to fear of abandonment issues and it's funny because we literally have the five of pentacles which is literally what I just said um, feelings of abandonment somebody has been chasing because of the fear of being abandoned or abandoning the situation before you could be abandoned and somebody was caught for the liar that they were I see that you haven't given up with the ten of wands there was a challenge um, and it looks like you were kind of putting in the whole workload by yourself. This has been a long journey for you. And it's been an uphill battle is what I'm seeing here. But there was information that came out here. Um, there is someone who's been waiting. Three of Wands. Waiting for, for a reconciliation. Hmm. Wow. Somebody's been waiting to reconcile with you. So let's take a look at you right now. We have a karmic relationship here. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So I'm seeing right now you're trying to keep your life in balance. You're balancing many different things, juggling things. Things are kind of up in the air and you're trying to maintain... Um, I see you trying to maintain your security and your peace because we do have temperance which is telling me that you're focused on your your peace, your happiness, your well-being and your healing. That's your intentions, but I also see that there's some unfinished business that you have with someone and there's a part of you that feels like this could be worked out. Um with temperance i'm seeing there's a compromise or wanting to have a peaceful reconciliation here we someone is seeing the situation 10 of uh, the world reverse so they're seeing it as incomplete not over yet or there's more to the story there's they want to experience more more time with you and right now, I see that there's something stopping you from, from fully pursuing this. And I do see that there's a part of you that it is tempted. You ha you're tempted by what's being offered to you. But a part of you knows that 
it's not it's not going to be a good thing or it's not good for you or you've tried it before and it didn't kind of it didn't work out here with the devil it's karmic i'm seeing new money right now a new opportunity that you're you're juggling in your life right now which is your main focus and it's a tempting offer but something feels off about it so i'm seeing that there's someone around you who is going through a wake-up call judgment and we have love unconditional love um self-love oneness passion affection and attraction so wow um Aquarius, this person really loves you unconditionally and they're going through a wake-up call right now about their feelings towards you. I see this person is seeing what they could have done differently before and they want to make some changes. So this person wants to change for you. Yeah, I, I, I see them wanting to be in a relationship with the lovers. They want a new beginning with you, with that lovers and the Ace of Cups. I see this person is starting to realize through this silent treatment how they really feel about you. They're finding clarity and they're starting to see that there's something that they could have changed or they if they could go back and do things differently they would and they want to make these changes so i see this person wanting to offer you love a new beginning in love and kind of see where things go from there because i see that they're they're interested in being lovers with you this person's in love with you they see you right now as working uh three of pentacles you're, you're gaining a crowd around yourself. Something is working out for you when it comes to your career. And you're being recognized. You have a higher status. So this is how they're seeing you. They see you like all work. Focus. That's your priority right now. So let's take a look at the near future. We have an engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, Commitment, eternity, completion, and union. But this is, I'm seeing that we have the Three of Swords, which is telling me someone's disappointing you in a commitment. There's disappointments because of someone's path or lifestyle that they have, but someone's try, wanting to come in and make things right within a partnership. But I see a breakdown in communication. There's a breakdown in communication or someone hasn't shown up to something and it broke your heart. Or it's, um, this, this is still the near future, so... For some of you, this hasn't happened yet. Um, somebody was lying. Are there secrets coming out here? I'm hearing about a pregnancy. About a relationship. Somebody, somebody has been secretive about a relationship or a commitment. And it's disappointing you. I see that in the near future, you're turning into this King of Wands though. So it's pushing you towards your own power and focusing on your peace. All right. There's definitely a relationship here that I'm seeing is kind of rocky. It's hitting some turbulence. I'm seeing um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, and um, Aries, Sagittarius is also here. So let's look at the outcome. We have Twin Flames, Yin and Yang, 
zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. Let's see. Ooh, wow. I'm seeing a very long overdue uh, offer. Yeah. So we have a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. In your outcome, I see you becoming like very, very smart or having a very successful business. Um, you're accumulating a wealth for yourself, prosperity, and I'm seeing opulence, luxury. You're nurturing a situation, but this is telling me that there's something that you end up letting go of. I see your outcome is like all all work, but I also I see that there's someone who's wanting to work something out with you, um, wanting to work out things from the past and collaborate, build. Someone's trying to build something with you here, something balanced. I see union. Someone's work wanting to build in a union or contract with you. I'm seeing that there is an opportunity that you take advantage of. So let's get some details and specifics for you. You could be juggling two people right now because we have a karmic relationship and there could be another person here who loves you. That's another storyline that I'm getting. We have a family room. Somebody was kicked out of their own home. Or it's, I'm seeing somebody was kicked out, basically. Somebody was left out in the cold. A family room or a home could be significant. There's adjudication, so a decision, ultimately, that I see. Um, you're trying to make, you're contemplating a choice right now between two things or two people. I'm seeing there could be a wealthy man or you could be this wealthy man. Um, I do see toll and labor. So I do feel like for some of you, I'm getting, when it comes to your money, like you've been really struggling. You've been really like down in the dumps. But... I'm literally seeing rags to riches, like five of pentacles to becoming this queen of pentacles. Rags to riches. This is the perfect example. Your money is going to get way better. Better than, like you, you can't even imagine the half of it, of how secure and stable you're going to end up being. And you may just say, I'm choosing the money over love. So I'm seeing numbers 21, 30, 38, and 13. And if this resonated with you, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. It really helps me out. It helps the channel. It helps the video. And yeah, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.